this is MJ and in today's tutorial we're going to be making a mosaic dishcloth. You'll be learning how to do a double border that hides all your ends so you don't have any ends to weave as well as I'll be showing you a technique and how to do a seamless join and we'll be following along with a mosaic chart to create this beautiful pattern. You will need two crochet hooks for this tutorial. The mosaic pattern is worked in our four millimeter G size hook and then we drop down to an E hook for the border. So I'm using two colors of Dishy Cotton. I'm using white and I'll be using mint for this tutorial. And you'll wanna have on hand a yarn needle and scissors as well. This dishcloth is about 10 by 10 inches, but if you wanna make it bigger, that's not a problem. You just wanna increase your starting chain in multiples of six and you can make a dishcloth any size you want. So let's get started. So we're gonna begin with a chain that's a multiple of six. So let's, and we're beginning with the G hook, okay? So I'm gonna chain out 30. So now what you wanna do is work in the second chain from the hook, but we're going to turn our work and work in that back leg of the stitch, the back hump. Make sure your chain is not too tight and that will make it easier for you to work into. So the back leg of the chain, we're working single crochet stitches across. Okay, so I've worked across, so you should have 29 stitches and I'm just gonna cut this. And chain one, pull that through. So let's take a look at our mosaic chart. So we've just worked row one, which is color A. So I'm gonna explain to you how our mosaic chart works. So you can see the color we're gonna be working on the side here. We read the chart from right to left. So each row begins at the right, we work across and cut. We start back here again, okay? So we go color A, color B, color A, color B. Now, when you see a blank box, we're gonna be working a single crochet in the back loop only. So I want you to ignore the fact that these are different colors. So for row two, we're gonna work the whole row in B. Our first stitch and last stitch will be a single crochet through both loops, but every other stitch is gonna be a single crochet in the back loop only. Now, when you see an X, we're gonna work a drop down double crochet and I'll show you how to do that. So when you're following along with each row, we're either working a single crochet, a single crochet in the back loop only, or a drop down. And this drop down is what is gonna create the pattern that we see. So let's hop into row two and I'll show you how that's gonna look. So I'm gonna take color B, I'm gonna make a slip knot put that on my hook and I'm gonna chain one. And I like to do that just so our end is nice and secure because we're not weaving it. Now I'm gonna go through the stitch and I'm gonna make a single crochet. A single crochet through the both loops for the first stitch. Then for the rest of the row, I am just gonna work single crochets in the back loop only. And in the final stitch, I will go through both loops. And at the end of the row, I've chained one. We're just gonna cut that. And then we're gonna go back to color A. So let's make a slip knot, put it on the hook, chain one, 
and then we'll work a single crochet right into the first stitch going through both loops. Okay, and then let's take a look at our chart. We'll do a single crochet in the back loop of the next stitch. And then we're gonna do a drop down, double crochet. So yarn over and see how we have the front loop available to us. That's why we work in the back loop. So we have these front loops to work into. So two rows below, we're gonna do a drop down, double crochet. Now there will be a repeat across the row to make it simpler as well. So we'll work five in the back loop, a drop down, five in the back loop, a drop down, five in the back loop, and then we're ending as we begin so the pattern looks consistent. So we'll work five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I'm just making sure here that I'm going into the right one. And then we're just going to repeat this across. So I'm coming to the end. We're going to do a drop down. Sorry, as soon as I go to do this on camera, I struggle to get my hook through it. Okay, and then, then the next stitch is in the back loop. And then the last stitch is going through both loops. We'll chain one and cut. Okay, so that's how row three looks. So row four, we're now working again with color B. Chain one. Make a single crochet in the first. Let's take a look at the chart. One, two, three in the back loop. One, two, three. Then we're going to do three drop down, three in the back loop, three drop down, three in the back loop, three drop down, and then ending as we start. So let's work through. And now here you can start to sort of eyeball. We want three here in the center and one loop on either side. That makes it easy. One, three drop downs and then we'll do three in the back loop only one two three and then we've got the five here again so the three in the center one two three and we'll just repeat that across just finishing up this row with my three in the back loop and then a single crochet in the last stitch chain one and we'll give that a cut now when you're working on a blanket it doesn't feel like you're cutting and adding on so much the smaller projects does seem a little bit tedious but it's not so bad and it does create such a beautiful pattern so now we're on to row five we're back to color a so slip knot, chain one, and let's look a, take a look here. So now we're doing a single crochet, drop down, back loop, drop down, and then we have three, and then we do this pattern again, three, this pattern again. So that sort of, the pattern always repeats itself across the row, making it not so difficult to follow. So a single crochet into the first and then we have so we have three front loops in the white here we're going down into the first single crochet in the back loop and then down into the third 
which again, you can kind of eyeball as you go across. So now back loop across three. And you can see we're to those three white front loops again. So as you can see, once the pattern gets going, it's really, it's not even so hard to judge where you have to go down to put your hook. You'll kind of get familiar with the pattern as you go, making it easy to memorize. So three, and then just repeat that along. Okay, and then we're ending with just the one single cro crochet through both loops. Chain one and eight. And now we're back to color B for row six. Our repeat is rows three through all the way up to 14. So we have quite a few rows to work through before you're gonna begin repeating. So now we're on to row six. We'll make a slip knot, chain one, join in. Always doing a single crochet through both loops for the first stitch. Then we're gonna go um, one in the back loop, a drop down, two, a drop down, two, a drop down, and repeat that across. So one in the back loop, and then we're dropping down to this front loop on its own. Work two in the back loop, and then our next drop down is going in the center of these three. and then two, and the next drop down will go there on its own. So now you can just repeat that across. Okay, so for row seven, already joined in here, we're gonna do three, drop down, single, drop down, three, drop down, single, drop down, and so on. So we'll do three in the back loop, Then we're gonna do a drop down, single, drop down. So this time that blue drop down's in between these. And then we'll do three. And then we're going around that next blue drop down. So drop down, single, drop down and you can repeat that across and we're finishing with our three and a single in the last stitch and chain one And then we'll be moving up to row eight, where we do a single, three drop downs, three singles, three drop downs, three singles, three drop downs, and across like that. Okay, so let's do our three drop down. You should have the three blue front loops to work into. And we're gonna do three in the back loop. And then you should have three of your front loops to do three drop downs. And then this is just repeated all the way across, ending with a single crochet in that final stitch. So we're just ending with our single crochet, chain one and cut. So nine, move our paper up. So nine is gonna be a single crochet, one, two, three, four, drop down, one, two, three, four, five, a drop down. So five in between our drop downs. So we've worked across and then here we have our three white front loops and our drop downs going in between them. 
and that's kind of creating the top of that triangle piece. So now we'll do five, one, two, three, four, five, and the next one should be in the center as well. So repeat that across and you can see our pattern starting to come together. And I've ended with five and single crochet course through the back loops for the last one. And now we're on to row 10, which is single crochet in the first, and then we're doing three drop downs, three singles, three drop downs, three singles across. So I have my single, we'll do our three drop downs. One, two, three, then three in the back loop. One, two, three, and then three drop downs. And we're just repeating that across and you're gonna end with a single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so now for 11, we're going to do one, two, three, four, drop down, single, drop down, one, two, three, drop down, single, drop down, and, and then the same as we started. So one, two, three, and then we have a drop down, single, drop down, and then we'll do three in the back loop. And we're repeating that across. So now for row 12, we're doing two, a drop down, two, a drop down, two, a drop down, etc. across. Drop downs going in the center of those three. One, and a lot of these rows are just repeating themselves. So you really can memorize them quickly. That drop down's going there. The next one's going between the three so that we're making our diamond shape. And repeat across. Okay, so row 13, single crochet drop down, single, drop down, and then we have three in between that pattern and work that all the way across. And we're almost through the repeat, just one more row after this. So we're doing a drop down, single, drop down, and then we work three, one, two, three and then we're completing this diamond here so we're going around that double drop down single drop down and repeat that across okay so we're moving up to 14 so let's take a look we've got four three drop downs three singles three drop downs Remember, we're always ending the same as we start. So let's grab color B and get this joined on. And this is our final row of the repeat. And then you're just going to go back and repeat three through 14. So three in the back loop. And then three, we're dropping down. Then three in the back loop, drop down three and repeat that across. Okay, so we've worked up to 14. Now you're gonna come back. You're gonna have to rewind the video and go back three through 14 again, okay? 
and then you're ending with row three. So that's bringing us up to row 27, which is just a repeat. So three through 14, we'll repeat that. So it's 15 through 20, uh, 26, and then 27 is row three again. So you can complete those off camera. I'm gonna complete mine off camera, and then we'll finish this up and come back we're gonna end with that row three and then we're gonna do a one row of single crochet and then we'll begin work in the border. So I'm gonna complete that and we'll meet up in a bit. Okay, so I completed working out my dishcloth, ending with a row of single crochet. So now what we're gonna do is make a slip stitch edging for our border. Now I'm gonna do it in color B because I just find it much easier to see the leg of the slip stitch so it's a lot easier to work into. So we're just going to join in here anywhere. We're going to do a seamless join so you're not even going to notice. So let's just go in here. We're going to pull up a loop and then we're going to just begin slip stitching. You want to make sure that you don't do these slip stitches too tight or they'll be really difficult to work into later. Now, whenever you get to a corner, what we're gonna do is chain two and then turn that corner. And then slip stitch and we're slip stitching through each row as we go here. So you can see that we're going through a white row, then we're going through a mint row. And I'm just trying to keep those slip stitches not too tight. You get to the next corner. Again, we're going to chain two, turn the corner, and then start slip stitching all the way across. just going through every stitch it's easy along the top and the bottom because it's easy to identify those stitches but with the alternating colored rows it does make it slip stitching up the sides pretty easy too so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this across here up the side so make sure chain two in each corner and then I'm going to meet you back up at the top here Okay, so now to do your seamless join. Let's just finish this off. I've already trimmed the yarn. We're just gonna pull the yarn through. Take your yarn needle, thread your yarn. Okay, and now you're gonna go under both loops of that first stitch. Come back and we're gonna go through the center. And that just creates a beautiful seamless join. Then what I like to do is just take my tails, knot them together, and then we can just trim those because they'll be hidden also by the double border. Okay, so now what you want to do is trim these tails. We really don't need them this long. Just need them nice and short. So we can hide them in our border. Okay, so just do that to both sides. Okay, so now what we want to do is go to the wrong side of our work. 
okay? You definitely want to start on the wrong side. You don't want to be on the right side of your work or it's going to be a pain in the butt to work into these back legs. So you want to drop down to your smaller hook, which is your E hook. And I'm going to be doing my border in white. So what you want to do now is just pick again a, any stitch. Join in and we're going to chain three and that will count as a double crochet. Okay, so now into the next. See, because I did it in this color, you can really see it. If it was in white, it would be a lot harder. So we're just working under the back leg of that slip stitch. And we're just working double crochets. Now this is gonna be your most tedious round just because it's a little be a little tough to get into that but if you've made your slip stitches fairly loose like I've done here it shouldn't be too bad up the sides you'll have to pay close attention because we do have the two colors so it might be a little bit harder to see Okay, and then once we get to the chain two, just work in one loop of the chain, make your double, chain two, and then in the other chain, work another double, and then that makes your corner. So now, like I said, it's gonna be a little bit, it'll be a little bit tougher to see these loops that we need to work into, but you can still kind of notice that they're right along here. So we'll be working you just got to work away at working into them. I find I'll just fold the fabric here and it will help kind of push it out. So you just sort of fold it just to kind of help get that hook through. So this is what you're going to do all the way around. We're going to work down and then once we get to this corner, we're going to do the same thing, working in each chain a double chain two and a double. So I'll work down and I'll meet you again at this corner. Okay, so I'm at the corner and just the back loop of the chain, one double, chain two, and then a double in the other chain. Just the one loop and then you can see right there like I say, this round you are not going to like because it is not super easy to work into these, but it's so worth it in the end. You can already see sort of the nice finish. It just creates an amazing finish. So I'm going to plug away going through all my stitches. Make sure you do the same in the corners. And I'm going to meet you back up at the top. Okay, so I've worked all the way around. Now when you get to your starting chain, we're going to slip stitch in the top of the chain to join. Chain three. And now this round's going to be a lot easier. We're just going to work double crochets in every stitch around. So this is gonna go really quickly. 
and the other side will go quickly too. It'll be much easier to work in the fronts of those slip stitches. I'm just rushing over here to get to the corner so I can just show you how your corner is going to look. So in your chain two space, you can do a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. And then just continue working around. So every time you get to a corner, a chain two space, you're gonna do a double, chain two, a double. And work that all the way around. Okay, so I've slip stitched in the top of the chain three to join. And that completes the back side of the border. So now we can flip it over to the right side. And let's take a look here at what we're gonna do next. So now when we're working on this, on the right side, we're just going in to the back loop of the slip stitch. So we're just gonna go through, down through the center of the stitch, okay? And then join on and chain three just like we did on the back. And then a double crochet in the back loops of the slip stitches. just like this and we're just gonna have this nice little edge. And then when you get to the corner, in that one loop of the chain, I'm gonna do the same thing, a double chain two and then find the other chain, just here, and work a double crochet. So then you just do a double crochet in the other chain and then doubles in the back loop. And just, you want to make sure as you go that all of your little strands are going to be between the border. Okay, so when you get all the way around, we're going to slip stitch in the third chain of the chain three. Chain three. And the second round of double crochet will be worked just like the other side. So you're just working around and in the chain two spaces, we're doing a double chain two and a double. So you can just work that and then I'll meet you up again and I'll show you how to close it up. Okay, so I've completed that. Slip stitch to join. And now what we're gonna do is just join it all up together now. So I'm going to go to the corner join in here with a slip stitch and now we're going to join the two pieces together so single crochet chain two single crochet. And then what you want to do is you want all of your ends inside. And then to join, you want to go through the back loop and the front loop and work a single crochet. So we're going through the back loop of this side and the front loop of this side. And 
and we'll just join all this up. So in our corners, we're doing a chain, a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Work that all the way around. Okay, so I've worked all my way around. Now, as I went, I did have to weave in a few ends just to make sure that they were secure on the inside. And then when you finish off, you're just gonna finish. Weave in that final end. Go back in the opposite direction. And the pattern also includes the tea towel. So there you go, your finished cloth.